Welcome back to the FT's CSO interview series. I've been talking to Christoph Dimitrias, the head of security at Intralock Group, a leading provider of integrated gaming systems to lottery organizations worldwide. Christos has been working in information security for the past 13 years and is a board member of the ISACA, an independent non-profit organisation that provides guidance and benchmarks and other tools for enterprises that use information systems. To start with, I asked Christos the main threat trends that Interlot has to deal with. I also asked him about whether governments should do more to help the private sector. Actually, the main um, uh, threat family that uh, the lottery sector is um, um, uh, dealing with is uh, to be able to have a holistic uh, view on information security in order to, um, to have um, a, a proactive approach in security. Okay. So our uh, main task right now is to ensure first of all compliance because especially if you operate in a multinational environment you have to ensure that you comply with every uh, one of the diverse uh, legal frameworks that are in place. And um, of course you also have um, to address um, uh, the internal and external threats as, uh, as you mentioned. You came from an academic background as you said. Do you think that enough is being done in uh, schools, colleges, universities uh, to uh, prepare people for careers in information security? Uh, we see new courses every day, so there is a lot of investment in uh, the academic sector and information security. The main driver is that information security becomes more and more a business requirement and a business enabler, and I believe that the academic sector is uh, responding very well to that. Um, also, international associations like ISACA are um, in a position to uh, be able to produce and share knowledge at, at an international level and this is very important uh, the exchange and sharing of information on security is very important in order to promote the profession as a whole. Mm. Is there anything more that governments uh, should be doing to help the private sector uh, combat uh, the threats that they face? Uh, I think there is a need um, for um, uh, an integrated security strategy from a governmental perspective that will give the appropriate information and direction um, to companies in order to be able to be able to be secure. Right now we have uh, cyber security strategies uh, all around the world uh, but this is really a challenge for multinational companies uh, because um, the, the directions are quite diverse. So in Europe, for example, there is a new cybersecurity strategy that was published in the beginning of 2012. This, good, um, uh, this provides very good directions to companies, uh, but then again, each um, EU member state has to invest on this in order to be more uh, specific and to provide clarity. Right. So you actually end up with slightly different interpretations of the same set of rules, I guess. That's right, and a good example which is uh, very close to security is privacy, where regulation is very diverse, uh, so um, this has to be a little bit more integrated in order to be more cost-effective for companies uh, at the same time. Christos, thank you very much indeed for your interview. Thank you, it's been really a pleasure. Thank you.